I think I might have started a trending topic. Right now, if you search Clever Programmer on YouTube, you're gonna see a few videos about him getting sued. Classes cost anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollars. This new lawsuit alleges that Clever Programmer promises you can get a job at any of the big tech companies here in Midtown. You can see the Google Tower there. But instead, the lawsuit alleges people are ending up with just big debts. Put together an incredible training for you that'll help you become a six-figure developer. Just a few months of online training to become a high-paid computer programmer. That's the pitch that Clever Programmer makes, and it's entertaining and eye-catching YouTube videos and social media ads. How much do you guys think a programmer makes? Um, one million dollars. <laughs> I'm sure if you follow me, then you probably follow the Dorian Develops channel. His video has now reached over 100k views and it's definitely gone viral. But did you know your boy was the first to actually tweet about it? Good old smart tech rally making a tweet about it but not having the foresight to actually make a video about it to help this channel grow so it could boost the algorithm. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. Okay, joking aside, I'm glad that Dorian is talking about it because his channel is way bigger than mine. And ultimately what I wanna get out of Tech Rally is to not only help you become a software developer, but also protect you from anything that feels a little sketchy. So am I now the coffeezilla of tech? Will I be pivoting my channel to do only call out videos and expose videos? No, not really, but since I am a developer, I'm always curious about everything that's happening in my industry, so that's why I just like to randomly Google stuff. So how did I find out about this clever programmer coding bootcamp suing issue? I was just mindlessly browsing on YouTube and a clever programmer video came up, and of course it was one of those Netflix clone type videos. Randomly, I thought about that time he created a coding bootcamp, and I vividly remember a chart comparing his bootcamp to others, and when I saw that, I thought, Wait, this guy never ran a coding bootcamp. How can he really say that my coding bootcamp is better than yours? And even though I never ran a coding bootcamp, I can only suspect that it's very, very difficult to run one. You best believe that if I did do a coding bootcamp, then I want to make sure I do some trial runs, figure out my kinks, figure out my learning styles, and really try to understand the nuances of running something that large, especially because it is going to be a full-time commitment towards your students. His bootcamp cost 15,000 at the time, and I just thought, how can anybody justify charging that much when they've never ran a coding bootcamp before? So now that the Clever Programmer Bootcamp is in my head, I just looked up on YouTube, hey, are there any reviews, and stumbled upon this video, and honestly speaking, watching this video was pretty heartbreaking. Look, there are some good boot camps and there are some bad boot camps, but based on this review, I just couldn't understand how anybody can run a coding boot camp like this. When I went to a coding boot camp, I paid $12,000. And it is relatively expensive, but I'm never going to complain about my experience because they made an effort to provide me with the right content, the right teachers, and the right assistants to make sure that I could get to the end of the finish line. But apparently, during the Clever Coding Bootcamp, there was just way too many red flags. Teachers were not showing up, substitutes didn't know what they were doing or where they were in the coding process, and they merged classes together. Like, what the heck? You're paying premium prices, and this is what you get for it? It just doesn't doesn't make any sense. It got to a point where a whole class signed a petition and tried to get a refund, but of course they wouldn't give it to him. Coming up with some BX excuses that you're going to run out of business if you have to give all refunds. Come on, man. Especially after reading some of the comments, I just felt so compelled to tweet about it because I do have a following now on Twitter and I just really wanted to just be a advocate for others that really don't know what they're getting into, especially in those kind of very difficult situations like that. And the original creator of the Coding Bootcamp review sent me a message on Twitter and actually let me know that he is getting sued. Hype we all were at the beginning. We were so excited. The sales pitch convinced Adrian Harris to sign up. She wanted to switch careers, but she now owes Clever Programmer more than $20,000. Because you said you were going to teach us and you know, we have class and no one's here, or we have class and the guy doesn't know what to teach us. This new lawsuit filed by more than a dozen Clever Programmer students nationwide claims Clever Programmer does not live up to its big promises. 
And why am I not surprised? Running a coding bootcamp versus making a clone project is completely different. These are people's lives you are preying on, especially for people completely new to the industry. It's so easy to fall for this marketing crap. You see a nice ad, you see 1 million subscribers, and if you think if I invest a large sum of my money, then my life can change. But seriously, this is getting out of hand. It's even worse because after I posted it on Twitter, people DM me separately saying that they too got screwed over by this program. It got to a point where allegedly, they were asking potential students to take out loans for a unproven system. Just super predatory and uh, you know it's really getting me angry because it's such a crappy situation. The clever programmer classes didn't provide the promised training and that staff convinced students to take out loans to pay ten to fifteen thousand dollars for those courses. So what now? Do I think all coding boot camps are bad? No, not necessarily. Do I think that you could be a software developer in three months? Yes. Do I think you could be a software developer in six months? Yes, anything is possible. And if you do an accelerated program, you might be able to do it a lot faster. But everyone's threshold is going to be a little bit different, right? I just want everyone to listen. But the thing is, if a coding bootcamp is not providing you with teachers or the right type of material, then that is a huge red flag in my opinion. This is where I want you to really listen to me. Please do your research. If you're thinking about a coding bootcamp, talk to alumni, watch other YouTube videos, do something like this before paying a huge amount of money. Something like Clever Programmer Bootcamp had zero reviews because no one actually took it and the people that did got screwed over. So you can see where the problem lies. This really sucks and go figure none of the links in the Coding Bootcamp website actually works anymore. I don't really know what the loss of future is, but I really do hope that all the students get their money back. Lastly, before you even consider doing a Coding Bootcamp, I would suggest you to look at other alternatives that are out there that are actually free like free code camp and the odin project if you find yourself really enjoying it and you're trying to get to that next level then maybe a coding boot camp could be for you or you could still do the self-paced route at the end of the day what i want you to focus on is leveraging your community and talk to real people to get real reviews all right so that's the end and if you want to know more about the lawsuit i'll attach the link to the article in the description below again with every video i'll end with keep building developers your time will come bye